When we got to the hospital, I realized something was horribly wrong. As the doctors were still trying to figure things out, um, I found myself in a sudden conversation about end-of-life scenarios, and she essentially told us the, the exact words were, um, people don't recover from what Norm has. Um, that was pretty devastating. Um... At the time, I remember thinking, with all of the stuff that Norm has been through in his life, that chicken pox or shingles was the thing that was going to actually take him down. I just couldn't believe that. It wasn't the violence, it wasn't the drugs, it wasn't the years spent in prison, it wasn't the unhealthy lifestyle or the homelessness. So the next day, uh, I went to work. It was Tuesday, I remember, because we had a staff meeting. I remember just saying we were to that we were told that people don't recover from what Norm has. But I felt in my heart, and I, I remember just saying, but they don't know the God that we serve. So we huddled into groups and everybody prayed. Um, and I left the staff meeting and went and picked up Sarah and went back to the hospital. And to our utter shock and amazement, when we walked in the room, Norm was sitting up with his eyes open. The next day when we came back, all I can say is he was, it was like he was completely back to normal. In fact, the doctor came in and told us there was nothing medic, there was no medical reason to keep him in the hospital anymore. They were going to discharge him. So we didn't really know how to react to that. Uh, kind of, it was exciting that he wasn't going to die, but kind of strange to think about now. What does this mean? I was at my brother's house and the two of us were trying to get to the bottom of how, how could this have possibly happened? Why did they not treat him in the first place? When I got to the hospital, my ride left, and when I saw the doctor, I said to her, I said, I think I got shingles. And she said, what are you, a doctor? It, was, it really wasn't until after he was better that we started to get upset about why this had happened. And so we actually called the hospital to see if we could get a hold of the administrator and find out, you know, at the very least to register some complaint about the, the care that Norm had received but we felt like if the person couldn't look Norm in the eye and say, I'm sorry for what I did to you, that that just felt inadequate. When Tom arranged this meeting with the doctor and her boss, I wanted to know for myself if this person really felt bad about what she did. I wanted to be able to know if I was going to let this go, or if I was going to sue him. She's got a stone cold look on her face. Now I'm starting to get um, angry. She's got no reply. She's not even talking. I thought she was just in the meeting because her boss made her go in the meeting. I said, Tom, we're going. Let's get out of here. I can't be in this room no more. Um, and then that's when uh, the guy said, Norm, what, what do you want? I said, I want to know why this person didn't give up about me when I walked in. And then she said, I haven't cared for a long time. Shortly after that, uh, she started crying. I told the lady, I, I said, I forgive you. Then she started getting more emotional, and I was, I was asking her, like, does she got somebody in her life that she can talk to? Like, I got Tom and his family. And I got people I can talk to. Um, if I didn't, I'd never got through this. She said, I don't got a belief like you guys do. As I was going to walk out the room, I think I just turned to her and said, can I give you a hug? And I gave her out. It was very weird for me. <laughs> I watched this 
once you know, stone cold doctor who seemed to not care about anyone or anything. And this person I'd seen come from so much anger and violence and hatred and darkness embrace in this truly loving hug. You could feel that there was actual grace. I've never acted like this before. Norm left the building and somebody else was running the show and that's my miracle. 